Sheffield nonprofit that feeds about 3,000 people each week may soon have no choice but to shut its doors, thanks to, they say, the city council. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay met with the Meal Barrel Project's director and city council members today to get to the bottom of this, and she joins us live now from the nonprofit warehouse location. Jillian, what'd you learn? Well, Marie, I watched this nonprofit leader's phone ring off the hook today. Each one of those phone calls was actually someone calling to schedule a time to pick up food. You can see here now that it is actually time to collect. And I'm told today is actually a slower pickup day, and they're only expecting about 100 people. But on a weekly basis, Penny Freeman says they feed anywhere between 3,000 and 3,500 people in the Sheffield community. This location's been here since 2018, but this week, City Council voted to end their lease. That means they will need to find a new location or close forever by mid-August. Freeman says her clients rely on this food to survive. Thank you, sir. With the present numbers that we serve, along with um, our state statistics, it would put us into a food desert circumstance. The lack of ability for people in this area to receive the foods that they need um, can be potentially catastrophic. I also spent time today at City Hall speaking with the council member who filed the motion. He says he has nothing against the work Penny is doing to feed the community. In fact, he says he supports it, but says the city desperately needs the building to house the street department, which is responsible for collecting trash and other services, which he says are essential. And coming up at Way 31 News at 6, you'll hear more from Penny about how what this move means to her. And also you'll hear from City Council about why they say this move is necessary. I'm live in Sheffield with coverage you can count on. Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.